All right, so today's video is just going to be a little bit of a quick one. And I just want to show you how you can actually improve your performance in KCD2 if you so desire. Now, we are currently testing with an RX 4090 paired with a 7800X3D and DDR5 6000 megatransfers per second CL30 memory. And you can see we are just outside of whatever this town is called, Bellini. And we are getting around 230 frames per second here, which is plenty, right? Just uh, going to show you the settings here quickly now the the trick here is to just download an async mod so we've got many settings here at ultra shadows is just set to high texture to experimental whatever whatever so you can actually get better gains if your settings are higher so let me just go back into the desktop quickly show you what to do all right, so all you have to do is go to nexusmods.com for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, and there's an FPS Boost Enable Async Compute mod. Now, I'll link it in the description below. All you have to do is just download this one file. You can use Vortex as well, which is a mod manager. I'm just doing it manually. All right, so once you've downloaded it, just go to your Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 folder, Steam Common app uh, steam apps common whatever whatever create a new folder just called mods now just the uh, capital m o d s right capital m only so and then we'll just uh, extract this enable async into the mods folder here. it's a it's a very small file here you can see it's one kilobyte one kilobyte and then we can just go back into the game all right we're back in the game and the settings are exactly the same just want to show you just in case you think I'm cheating here, all the settings are exactly the same as previously. And now you can see we are getting 280 frames per second. So we gained around 50 frames per second in this specific spot here. You'll see that the the more high end your hardware is, the bigger the boost will be, right? And it it will only help when you are fully GPU bound because it does help with GPU performance, not not so much CPU performance, right? But you can see that uh, in this specific spot here, we gained quite a little bit of uh, performance here. Now, once again, just play around a little bit. If it doesn't work for you, if you do see performance regression, some older hardware might see performance regression, then just delete the mods folder that you created and you should be good to go. All right, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one